Hey now, I'm Professor Retro, and right now we're going to go over the Zephyr Warp. It's a new water warp that allows us to save a good 2 minutes and 15 seconds or more off of the old Water Goonie 2 split, aka the split where you get the fifth Goonie in the any percent speed run. So let's go through it right now. First, we're going to go through it at full speed. We'll start out here. So we are we just got the Ice Goonie, and we're on our way to Water Goonie 2. So let's take a look at this. So we do the usual stuff. And now we are going to see our setup for the trick. It really starts here. And I'm just going to let it play through, and then we're going to walk through it. Alright, there it is. So let's start from here. We're gonna go through. So we'll do, yeah. So we'll do this. We'll go right to the beginning of the trick. So what we're gonna do here is as soon as we fall out of our door, we wanna land, jump immediately to the left, bounce off the platform. And this is what we do anyway. This is how we always have approached this part of the split. Now we want to try to grab the vine early if we can to set up a proper sub-pixel alignment. So we're going to do that. Now one of the key things is where are we going to jump from off this platform? What we want to do is have the scorpion. We want to have the scorpion shoot at us. So we're going to jump around here. And notice we're going to land nice and early on the platform where the scorpion is. So the idea is to get him to shoot because he's going to despawn a bat that could potentially bother us further down the line. So quick jumps. Now here is really important where we jump from. So we're going to jump from about here. We want a nice alignment of Mikey, we want a consistent alignment of where he's going to be when he lands on the bottom platform. And even if you're doing the old version of any percent, this is a good way to approach this part of the split to avoid getting hit by that bullet. So here we have Mikey landing. Notice his foot, where it is. It's a little bit hanging off the edge. This is a really good position for Mikey to be in. So we got one foot just hanging off. If you land a little bit to the right, you can shift him over. If you land to the left, it's a little bit trickier. I would just, if you land slightly to the left and his foot is perfectly aligned, let's say with the edge here, just, just leave it. Now the next thing is, we are going to drop a bomb. So the part, the way this glitch works is, we have a momentum let me start again. The way this warp works is we first start off with a momentum glitch. So what's going to happen with the game is we're going to drop a bomb and we're going to be standing on a moving platform that's going to be moving right. So the platform is just sitting here right now. The combination of the bomb explosion, the platform moving right, and then a frame perfect jump. All those together is what causes us to fly across the screen. So, what we're gonna do is see, there's these little kind of dimples right here. As soon as you see the edge of the platform hit that, you're gonna drop the bomb. And you're not gonna see 
when I'm doing this, you're not going to see the bomb come out immediately. It takes a, it takes a little bit. So here, you want to drop that bomb. You're going to see it start to come out of Mikey. And what you're going to do is you're going to walk onto the platform, then walk off. So look where Mikey's foot is. He is his foot is pretty far into the bomb. A little more than halfway. This is a good alignment to have, and you can see Mikey's other foot is on the platform. So now we have the bomb. It's going to start getting ready to explode. You see it explodes here, and Mikey gets pushed back. Now, <clears throat> you don't need to do a pause buffer. I do a pause buffer here. You don't have to do that, but I do it because... The only way to get this trick is you need to jump exactly 69 frames. Didn't make that one up. That's what Zephyr, Zephyr Lizard, the one who came up with this setup, he says it's 69 frames. So 69 frames from the bomb getting dropped is when we jump. He says it's about five frames from when the bomb explodes, which seems about right. So what I do is I pause... I try to get that five frame or 69 frame pause. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpause and immediately press jump. And that should give me the timing to blast me across the screen. So you notice here, I'm just sitting here for a second. That's because I paused. So there we go, flying across the screen. So let's look at this in real time. I go up here. Oops, I went the wrong way. Here we go. So let's try it in real time. Drop the bomb, pause buffer, flies across the screen. So now we're here. We've flown across the screen. On this explosion, you see Mikey, he's actually stuck in the wall. So what happened here was we flew across the screen faster than we should have been able to go and the game just tries to draw in the tiles and you get some tiles that are normally there and some that aren't. So there's several different possibilities. There's a ton of them but there's generally four patterns you're going to get. This is the one I get the most. So you can see right here there's this vine that vine should never be there. That vine is actually going to let us climb out the bottom of the screen. There's another one where there's, towards the middle of the wall here, there's a large piece of vine. There's also another one where there's a tiny piece of vine. If you get any of those three, you'll be able to climb down to the next screen. If you see a piece of vine and then you're blocked by some bricks, you can just press start. And as long as you keep going down, the game thinks you're on a vine. But anyway, this one is interesting. So what we have to do is we want to, we can just jump right on that platform. If you're not comfortable with that, just wait, maybe wait a cycle. And we just, there's no good way to do this. I do a little jump back to jump over the scorpion. I do another one there to try to align with the vine. I still messed it up. But we go down the vine. And here we go. Now Mikey's in this confused state. Where he's just floating around. You finally gain control about here. For this particular pattern. The different... Um, the different vine patterns you get dictate what's going to happen on this. So here we go. And what I want to point out here is this is usually where we get to the second water goonie. There's one difference though. So we go in the door. Come on, Mikey. Okay. Normally when we get to this screen, we would have gone into the water using the diving suit. So our cursor is usually here. So if you're, if you're really used to these menus, you're gonna notice that 
we're not on the tools cursor anymore. So normally when I would come in this room, I'd have the tools cursor highlighted or the cursors at tools. I'd press down to go to the go menu and then do our usual thing. But notice here, we actually start on the go menu because the last menu we did was in the red cave leaving um, the ice, the second ice cave. So we're just gonna do a go and free the Goonie. And that's it. From here, you see I don't have any keys, or you might have seen I don't have any keys after this because we'll use the last one on that Goonie. So you're going to have to get a key drop down in the, in the basement. You can either get the spider key drop or you could get the basement key drop returning towards the volcano. If you don't get either of those, you get a farm. So let's give this a couple tries. We'll see if we can do one on, on here for you. All right, so let's go to the game. I'll try to walk through the whole scenario. A lot of pressure here. So I didn't get it. So this is a good thing to see, is we can actually set up for it again. This time I got it. But we got a problem. There's no vine. <laughs> and if I press start, clear everything out, now it looks normal. So let's, let's go back again. And you can see, this isn't the easiest trick in the world to pull off. So there we go, we got it. And actually, here's a different pattern that works. So I'm glad this one happened. So we're gonna grab the vine. And we can't climb down because we're getting blocked. That's okay, just press start. We're in midair, don't try to climb off the vine, just go down. And look, we're flying across the screen here. I think it's five screen transitions. Here we go in, boom. Get that goonie. And let's leave. So let me show you the key drop opportunities so you you get used to this. If you've been playing this, you don't need to see this part, but let's do it anyway. So the menus are back to the expected way they should be. And notice we did not get the spider spawns that we need to get the spider key. I find that I'm not getting a lot of the spider spawns that I want. What we usually want is a double kill, we're not getting it. So let's do the basement key drop attempt. Whoops! That was bad. <laughs> oh my. I'm gonna leave and come back. That was just plain bad. Let's, let's try that again. So here we go. Got the key. If we don't get that, then I do this. That's actually what I got in the first world record that we got with this. And then we just do... We just do the rest. We don't need to go through that again. So we'll try one more time. See if we get another pattern. See, I'm a little too far over. We got it again. We got the same pattern. So we'll get on that vine, press start twice. I like this pattern because you fly through the screen nice and fast. And that's it. You too can do the Zephyr Warp. Good luck, and reach out with any questions. <laughs>